Hi guys, Andy here. You may have seen my unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi Band 1S. Well, I've been using it for two or three weeks now, so I thought I'd give you some thoughts. Um, although, to be honest, I kind of I thought to myself, well, actually, what is the to review? It counts my steps and it monitors my sleep and it checks my heart rate. There's not a there's not a great deal to it. It is just a sort of a fitness band. But what I would say, the original band that comes with it didn't fit my wrist. Watch my uh, unboxing if you if you want to see that. It was just way too tight. So I got this extended band for, I think it was about £7, so not too much. Mind you, the thing itself was only 21 so the band's a third, <laughs> third of the price again. But that, uh, that then provides plenty, as you can probably see there, for even the biggest of wrists. But I found myself using it with, again, there's another accessory, I think it only cost me a couple of pounds off eBay. If we pop it back in. I found myself using it with this more often than not, which is magnetized little clip. So, for example, you pop it onto my shorts pocket or around the belt loop of my trousers, perhaps, and it seemed to track my steps just as well, I think, um, as when it was on my wrist. There do seem to be quite a few little accessories because I think generally the, the original Mi Band accessories will work fine with the 1S. I think they're the same size. Um, you also get a charging band. So you've got two little connectors on the base there. You see the two little connectors inside there. You slide it in and you plug into your computer and you'll see the lights will light up depending how full the battery is. Now, of course, you can use the app we're going to see initially it will be getting getting band data look. didn't take a second. I've not really worn the band much this morning. If I was going to say any steps, no. Oh, that's I thought I'd worn it for a little while. But I've been to the gym, and what I've realized, because I'm now pushing... You slept nine hours? It wasn't nine hours, was it? We'll come back to that in a second. Um, because it's been, it pushes the information. So if I wear the band and I go to the gym, I'm on the bike, for example, um, and then I'm walking around the, the gym... I also use Google Fit directly just to record right on weightlifting, start activity, you know, record whatever, 30 minutes perhaps of lifting. But then when the Mi Band pushes its information to the phone, it says, well, during that time you were walking around. So it basically overwrites the activities I was doing, like cycling and lifting. So I don't wear it down the gym. I, I revert to sort of manual timing of activities. Uh, we can go back through previous days to see how much I walked. Um, I'm not massively active, <laughs> to be honest. Sunday was Super Bowl Sunday, so I wasn't really doing much at all, sitting around the house, uh, watching the football, back to work. Quite a busy day yesterday. But then you can also see, let's just come back out of this app and go into Google Fit. As you can see there, I have been, I have been active, honestly. So it syncs there my sleep data, you can see. And if we go into yesterday, so you see all the bits where it says via MeFit. So most of most of my activity comes from the MeFit. Uh, and it is generally, there's, there was a definite, how can I perhaps show it? There was a definite increase where I started wearing the band. So as you see, I, I was wearing it for two, maybe three weeks. Look at the difference. So I have my watch that I wear that you would hope tracks sort of steps and things very well, but actually when you compare it to a, what a proper fitness tracker does, massive difference, massive difference. So I like that. I like that it's a bit more accurate, that I get a bit more credit for because I hate nothing worse. You get home from a day and it says, you've been active for 50 minutes. You think, I've not been walking around for at least two or three hours. That's not fair. So it is a bit more accurate in that respect. Uh, let's go back into the app. Um, if we go to settings, we can just check. So it was charged two days, days ago, it's on 73%. Now, I found that it, they claim it has 30 days battery life. I found it to last 12 days. I can, after 12 days, or it's telling me it was 12 days, I had 4% left. So I plugged it in. I think it's in for about two and a half hours. And when I plugged it and checked, it was at 99%. I thought that's good enough. And off I've gone. Now, okay, it's a long way. 12 days is a long way after 30 days that they say, but to be fair, 12 days, that's long enough, isn't it? Basically two weeks use and you've got to plug it in for a couple of hours. That's that's not too bad, I wouldn't have said. 
So there are other bits and pieces. I haven't used it a great deal for much else. So sleep assistant, measure heart rate periodically after you fall asleep. Um, can use more battery. So that is on up. Really, I should actually turn that off because now to track my sleep, I clip it to the side of my bed rather than where it's on my wrist while I'm sleeping in, in the band. I did try it one time and it doesn't actually show you the heart rate. That's a bit of a shame. I'd quite like to know what my heart rate was when I'm asleep. You do get notifications through the band uh, and you can even... Yeah, if it's in, no. Must be somewhere else in the settings. You can tell it which apps. There we go. Is it? So I'm just getting them from WhatsApp, the phone, and Hangouts. I don't want to be buzzed when I'm getting an email or a Facebook post or something. So it's just when someone's actually trying to contact me. But it's quite funny. So obviously I have my phone on my hip. I have the Mi Band uh, around my waist a lot of the time when I'm at work. I got clipped onto a bell loop. And then I have my, my LG G Watch R. So when I get a, a phone call or a WhatsApp message, my whole bloody body's vibrating basically um what else did i use so you can have it unlock using unlock the device using the band i don't bother with those sort of things uh active activity stats notification show data activity stats oh, i haven't really used that i don't think um so the sleep how do i show you the right oh see that's not what i was looking at when I woke up, I don't think, um, which is kind of weird. I had much more periods of deep sleep. It was telling me, I'm not quite sure why it would have changed like that, actually. Can we can we change to a different, I'm not sure that we can. There we go. So yeah, there's, there's a more, more normal, and that's what this morning had looked like. I don't quite know why that's changed. Um, what I do find, See, now I've got a little edit icon. So if we go back into the, the sort of graph of the more, you can't edit previous days. Um, but if we come back into today's stats, I get a little edit icon. So quite often it thinks, if I stop to watch TV at, let's say, half past nine, I watch TV for an hour, then I go to sleep, it thinks I've gone to bed a lot of the time at sort of quarter past nine. Um, or you might wake up at seven o'clock, but stay lounging in bed for half an hour, then pick your phone up and check the app, and that's when it thinks you woke up. So you can edit the times to make it a little bit more accurate i don't quite know. i had i did that this morning i edited the time i trimmed them either way a little bit i don't know quite why it's done what it's done here because i had quite a lot of i had pretty good items four hours of deep sleep so i'm not sure why it's done that anyway nev never mind um what else do you need to know there's supposed to be an option of where you tap it and it tells you how far through your target you are for that day but i can't seem to get that to work anymore i'm sure it did at one point um let's just let's quickly show you the sort of it checking of a heart rate i suppose um heart rate we'll start off you see that's how it works it flashes a the green i'm going to hold that or rest that on my skin and we'll see if it can measure now, i have been in the gym but that was a good that was an hour ago <laughs> I, would, I would hope my heart rate Oh dear, so maybe it didn't like. Oh no, Ooh, did you see that? It flashed at 57 and it said you, we can't measure your heart rate. And then it said, oh, it's 57. But we'll try once more. You're supposed to stay quite steady, have your wrist at sort of chest height, and you're not really supposed to make noise. 93. So I'd guess that's probably the more accurate. I'm not sure what the 50 was. The 50 might have been the last measurement. 93 is quite high for me. I am normal. I mean, you saw that 53. That's a normal. Resting heart rate is, is actually, for me, is normally around 60. But it could still just be because I've had quite an active morning. If I look, you can see there the previous. So that was when I was at the gym one time. Um, and then a bit later at the gym again. That's a fairly normal one. Oopsie. I think you get to put notes. No, maybe not. Um, yeah, so we've got a sort of fairly normal 90. And at the minute, it's around 90. I was a little disappointed. I would hope, I mean, I would love to have been able to set it to... I don't know, every half an hour, just check my heart rate. If it did that, I'd be more inclined to wear it in the wrist band rather than on a belt, just so you can kind of see what your heart rate's like through the day. Or to even to set the pe the period between. So if I'm at the gym, it'd be quite interesting to know every minute what my heart rate is, and I could just track it through the session. But I've not seen a way that you can do that. Um, so I think that's there's not a great deal more to know from it, really. Uh, it, it's, I think it's a nice little, nice little uh, accessory. For, I think I paid twenty-one pounds on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the comment in the uh, uh, video description down below. 
whether or not the heart rate, I haven't really used the heart rate monitor, as you saw there. I think, what, there was six? Well, before I'd just done those two tests for you, what, the four or five at most, and I've been using it for three weeks. I mean, maybe I should make more use of it, but a lot of the time I use the clip rather than the wristband, so it makes the, the heart rate monitor um, a bit pointless. But anyway, there you go. Those are my thoughts. I think it's quite a good buy for £21. It is definitely a more accurate pedometer than your wristwatch or your phone if you're sort of kind of serious in knowing how many steps you're taking each day. That's the Xiaomi Mi Band 1S. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll catch you all again soon. My name's Andy.